Hi folks, so today I'm preserving lemons. So I thought I'd um, turn the camera on. I have been meaning to do this for a few days now. Um, and I'm just getting around to it. Um, I've got my helper here. <laughs> um, and I've bribed the girls to go play in the playroom. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm just using um, ball jars that have been washed in the dishwasher. This is not a water bath canning or anything. This is just preserving. You just need clean, very clean jars. Um, it's just citrus and salt, so it's incredibly clean. And all I'm doing, there are so many different ways you can do this. You just use clean hands. I mean, it doesn't make sense to sterilize a jar and then use your hands anyway, does it? So I wouldn't worry about sterilizing your jars, just have clean jars, clean hands, and squish these lemons down. I forgot to put some salt in. <laughs> All right, just put a little bit of salt in the bottom. Then start squishing them down. In between each bit, just put a little bit of salt and a little bit of salt on the lemon itself. Make it up as you go along. <laughs> it's hard to go wrong with this. Look, this is a really, really simple thing to do. I thought I'd turn the camera on because, um, you know, there are people who may not have done this before. And it's just nice to be reassured by seeing someone else do things before you give them a go for the first time. Um, I've preserved lemons a couple of times, and I don't know if this is the exact way I had the lemons, or I can't even recall how, I, I probably did it in quarters. A lot of people keep, uh, excuse all that banging upstairs, it's the girls walking on the floor. Um, a lot of people do it this way, where they just um, keep the lemon fairly whole, put some salt in there, put it back together and then put the lemon in. But I just like to be able to grab one piece out and use that. And you know, it really doesn't make a difference. You want to sort of squish it a bit um, as you go because, um, and it doesn't matter if you use heaps of salt either, you're going to wash the salt off it before you use it. So don't be concerned about going crazy with your salt. You want the lemons to be just in salt and their own juice. Do not use, um, you probably don't need more than that. So you wanna keep it like that. I'm gonna move on to the second jar. I'm probably just gonna do three jars. Um, and I've got a whole bunch of other lemons. I've got these lemons um, from my neighbor. And so they're fresh off his tree and they're gorgeous and I've got so many of them um, preserved lemons are beautiful but I love anything with lemon in it so <laughs> I'm going to do some lemon cake um, and usually when I make a cake I make at least two and then I freeze one so I'm gonna make lemon cake and um, I really would love to make some lemon butter because it's amazing. I'm just concerned um, that I can't safely water bath uh, lemon butter and I don't have a pressure canner. And I know there are recipes for water bathing lemon butter. I just don't really feel comfortable with it because it's, um, you know, you've got eggs and butter in there and to me it just, it's a bit scary. Um, I don't want to accidentally make anyone sick. So I might make enough lemon butter that I can keep it in the fridge and we use it. And we enjoy it while it's there. But not, um, not store any long term. Oh, Bubba. And I'm going to squish that last one in. After I have my three jars full, I'm going to squeeze some more lemon juice and just 
um, ensure that there is uh, enough juice covering all of those little bits of air holes and everything. Um, so what I wanted to say is if you have not used preserved lemons or even tried preserved lemons, oh, bu -bu 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 -bu, they are just so good. Um, they have, you know how, what's, um, oh, we've got kids crying. They're fabulous. I mean, it's a traditional Moroccan flavor, preserved lemons. So, you know, if you love couscous and Moroccan anything, chicken, <laughs> um, you know, apricot sort of chickeny sort of things. And um, what was the, there's one uh, dish I used to do. Yeah, it was apricot and chicken, chicken and stuff. And anyway, any, um, uh, Moroccan dish it'll go beautifully with but it's also fabulous to put um, with fish if you want to do some fish in foil in the in the oven or whatever and put some um, different flavors in this is one of one of the things you could put into the little parcel and it's amazing but if you google it there are so many things you can do with preserved lemons um, salad dressings and um, just make invent you know making things up as you go along basically it goes with I've in the past when I've made it may uh, when I've preserved lemons I have ended up just um, putting them in anything where I think it might be delicious and it has been they just add a complete whole new dimension to a dish they're so beautiful so it's not like you won't use them you don't have to put them in a Moroccan dish you can use them in lots of different things anything like chicken anything with chicken or fish um, and you do wash the salt off so it's not like it has to be savory either oh, bub, bub, bub. I might leave that one out so give them a good squish down I'm gonna put a little bit more salt on top there I might be using more salt than uh, other people might use but you wash it off so it's all good I'm gonna wash my hands oh you're not enjoying this are you and now in here I'm just going to I'm going to juice some lemons I don't have a juicer I just uh, as in a a um, The other thing I could do, I might dehydrate um, some of these lemons because a lot of people are dehydrating at the moment and they've basically reminded me that I have a dehydrator. <laughs> um, I just haven't used it in about a year. So I love dehydrating citrus because it works really, really well. And I will, of course, use these. I will uh, zest that peel and ideally I would have done that before juicing the lemons much easier to zest a lemon and then cut it in half and juice it and of course um, if you want to get maximum juice out of a lemon you can also roll it a bit on in your pump and then just keep juicing just keep juicing but anything with lemon is amazing um, I love making lemon tarts, so I'll just see how many I've got here and I might end up doing a couple of lemon cakes and a lemon tart and I will dehydrate some and of course I am preserving some and I just don't want any of them to go to waste because they're beautiful, fresh, organic lemons off the neighbor's tree and he said he... Um, will probably bring me over some more so I'm very very lucky um, a few months back he brought me over some kumquats and I spent two days making kumquat jam it was such a chore but I have so much kumquat jam and it um, or marmalade it really is because um, it uses the peel um, honestly the best marmalade 
I've ever had in my life. And I thought my regular orange marmalade was good. <laughs> um, kumquat marmalade is just amazing. <coughs> Incredibly labour intensive though. And it was actually really, really hot while I was, uh, it was sort of, sort of uh, just after, it was between Christmas and New Year's, I believe. Oh, poking this salt into me. Um, and I'm not going to worry about the pips because um, because you're not going to eat them. Like They can be in there with that, all of that. All right. So there is plenty of lemon juice in there. I'm going to add a bit more salt to the top of each jar. And in the next few days, I'm just going to sort of shake these jars around a bit and get everything happening. And then, yeah, over the next few days, all I'm going to do is um is give them a little sort of a little you know shake about make sure all that um all the salt and juice is dispersed and they're um, doing their thing and then you can store these in the cupboard or in the fridge um, depending on what recipe <laughs> you look at. Um, now, because these just have salt and lemon juice and they're in, you know, clean bowl jars, I would not hesitate in keeping those in the pantry. And in the past, you know, that's what I've done until I've opened it and then they keep really well in the fridge as well. Oh, but, 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 he's trying to go to sleep. So, preserved lemons. Delicious. Give it a go if you've got some um, extra lemons hanging around or if a neighbour so kindly gives you some lemons. And so I forgot to mention um, how long the preserved lemons need to chill out before um, you actually consume them. So it's four weeks you need to let them sit around. For the first few days you want to, um, excuse my filming, you want to um, just sort of let them you know, rotate them a bit to get that salt and everything happening. Um, and then you just leave them for four weeks. Depending on what recipe you um, you follow, um, some people keep them in the fridge, others in a dark place. And um, in the past, I've just kept them until they're opened, just in a dark um, cupboard or whatever. And this is now my canning cupboard and it's very humble. <laughs> I don't have a huge amount in it um, and also my battery's going flat so um, so I'm just keeping them in there because it's very dark they're in there it's very dark it's very dark in there so I will take this opportunity to show you in my I've got a baby strapped to me sorry oh, okay in my little canning cupboard as it is at the moment and as, as I said it's very at its humble beginnings, I haven't had much time for canning um, in a while. So um, that is all my kumquat jam. Can you see that? And I've actually given some away and we've had a couple of them. So I made a lot. I mean, I was given so many kumquats. It was amazing. And to the point that my neighbor said, I've got more if you want them. And I hesitated and he said, are you all kumquatted out? And I said, I maybe because I, it was just such a labor intensive job to do this kumquat marmalade guys but it is just as I said the most amazing um, marmalade I've ever tried now I did it in two batches because so much um, this one ended up a bit clearer and I don't think I've even tried that one yet the one that looked actually looked burnt I was concerned about it Oh, let's see. Is there a smaller jar of it? I think this one. There we go. I've got huge um, jars up the back of this other darker one. And it looks like that. 
So to me, I thought, oh no, I hope I haven't burnt it, but it doesn't, no, not at all. It is just amazing. So that's the one I've tried. And I'm very slack. I don't even label my jars. I mean, I don't have that many different things, you know, that I'd forget about it. I've made a lot more than this in the past and we've um, eaten them. And I made a lot of this sort of stuff before Christmas and I've given so many jars away as Christmas gifts to uh, school teachers um, and friends and family. So, um, I mean, if you do canning for nothing more than to give us gifts, it's still a lovely thing. So that is um an apricot jam a lot of these things i would have shown you under my stairs i'm just showing you now because they're in my my new canning cupboard i mean i've had this for ages this is <laughs> this is my kitchen hutch um that i got second hand um and it's very messy up there at the moment um but it uh, serves this purpose very well because it's very dark in here and it's in my front room which is a bit cooler um, I had these under my stairs, but under the stairs actually gets quite warm because this under the stairs is right next to the laundry, um, which, you know, has the humidity from the dryer, um, and is right ne near the back door and that sort of thing. Um, okay. So that is a, uh, a date and something jam. What is that? Date and... I think I've only got what, one minute left on this. Anyway, I showed them in my other um, canning video, so I won't go into too much detail about what they are actually. Um, but yeah, delicious. And then I've got that's the homemade um, vanilla extract recipe that I just I, I got that one from Heather, the Needy Homesteader. And then down here, these are more of the kumquats that I was given. And I've made them into kumquat brandy. So they're chilling out in there until winter. And the kumquats themselves can be used on desserts. And then the brandy, obviously, we, we drink that. So that'll be amazing. And I can um, put that into smaller uh, jars if I want to give some as gifts. And it'll be very, very special indeed. And I'll show you that when I um, open it up in a, a couple more months. It'll be ready to, to start drinking. So... I'll show you then. But my battery is really running out, guys. So I was just showing you in here. <laughs> and I will be adding to this over time. Um, yeah. So cheers. Thanks for watching.